Hey guys, welcome to Folly Beach, South Carolina. Today we're going to be getting on the water with a good friend of mine, Chef Jean Paul. And he cooked off his career building a boiling crawfish crab shrimp down in Louisiana. Chef Jean Paul Bourgeois. Jean Paul Bourgeois. He's uh, in from New York City for the Charleston Food and Wine Festival. We're going to be doing some red fishing, some sheep's head fishing, uh, maybe a little sea trout fishing. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cook it on the Brio cooker out here in the yard. It's gonna be a beautiful afternoon. We're getting ready to get on the water. Got my good buddy, Chef Jean Paul, finally here, ready to rock and roll, do some fishing. So That's right, man. Every time I'm in Charleston, I gotta come fishing with Ben Powers. We gotta have some fun catching fish. I hope. Yep, exactly. Got That's it. always the hope. Yeah, this. We got good conditions. Yeah, though. this guy will put us on. Then we're gonna do a little grilling in the backyard and see, I don't know, see yeah. what happens with it. Pull out the Brio cooker afterward. Yeah. And uh, set it up and show you guys how to set it up in the yard. It'll yeah. be a great time. My kind of cooking right here, man. Just backyard, get it, get it right, get it right in the boat. Mixing a few drinks. Right to the backyard, right over the fire. Here we go. But the redfish, how they hammer down on a Ooh, oh. hammer down on a bait is unlike, yeah. you know, ambush and hammer down, man. Hopefully we experience so, that today. We got a 53.8, 53.9 water temp this morning. It was 58 yesterday, so that might affect the trout bite a little bit. They may have gone a little deeper, so we'll focus a little deeper when the tide turns and starts coming in. So we'll be rolling slow, moving the bait slow, keeping them down deep. Uh, and the, But as far as the redfish, the water temp is still in there their hammer zone. So, yeah. That's gonna be my hashtag today. Well, we're on the hammer zone. All right, y'all ready? All right, we're at our first spot. We're getting ready to get started fishing here. Uh, we're working a little flat for some redfish in shallow water. This time of year during the winter, the redfish are hiding from the dolphins as much as they are trying to feed because there's not a lot of bait in the water. So they're concentrating on hiding from the dolphins and the dolphins are focusing on finding those redfish because that's pretty much it's all that's in here besides the trout and a few sheep's heads. So we're gonna get tight up in here to the grass with our baits and then uh, see what we can make happen. We're gonna use live mud minnows uh, and artificials, maybe some cut crab for the redfish. So, I mean, it's got a significant wind out here. It's coming in yeah. my face right now. Yep, what's, the, what's, what's the key to fishing in like these kind of windy conditions out here in the low country? Fishing in these windy conditions is all about hiding from it, getting out of it, you know? And, and it's not as much because of the bite or the fishing. It's because of it, you want to make it easier for you to be able to cast right. and to be able to feel that bite if you're fishing an artificial because that wind will really take the sensitivity out of your line. Uh, gotcha. But looks like we got some birds working up ahead, so let's get some bait in the water. Okay. Get it in that back corner. Hey there, John Paul. Did you see where I was at? Man, I might have some shoulders on him. I'm the Z-Man TRD Finesse. Good way to start today. Nice 21, 22-inch redfish. My second cast of the day. Just having to do that. <laughs> We're gonna put a piece of blue crab on the cork. Bring that cork in. Let's grab it. Let him eat it and just come tight to him. Because you, you gotta give him a second to break that crab apart, you know, get it, get it down in his mouth good. You're in that perfect strike zone just off the shore. To the left, to the left. Yep, guide. Yeah. So the Looking good. Yeah. Good. Good. Pull back to the left. Back to the left. That's a big boy. Big boy on the line. Nice red. Absolutely. Nice red, buddy. Right here. Let's see. Boom. Oh, 
little guy. He got ate by a dolphin. Or almost ate by a dolphin. Scratched all up. He might be a little short, but if there's one, there should be more. Z-Man, TRD on the ice track jig. Swallowed that junk. He was on the shore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I've been I've been cooking since I was I don't know eight or nine years old with my parents, and came came time to decide what I wanted to do for college, and I went to culinary school, and I never never looked back. Um, so I've only worked in kitchens all my life. I mean, it's been like 15 years of. 15, you know, 10 years in New York and five years everywhere else. And my first job was in the kitchen, boiling crabs and crawfish and just kind of kept going. I was always kind of like the guy in the kitchen cooking up dinner and breakfast. And so it always made sense for me. Just like I thought, these guys are out a little deeper today, trying to slide out of my hand, wiggling that trout slime. Hard to beat. So we are hoping he is 14 inches so he can be dinner. Let's see. And he is 16. Nice. Winner, winner, trout for dinner. So Jean Paul, a little little different weather than we've uh, experienced the past few years together, huh? That's, that's right. That's man. right. I had to fight the elements a little bit, but yeah. we came out on top, I think. You know? Oh man, we almost had we had an inshore slam, yeah. just shy of the flounder for the grand slam, but we had trout, redfish, sheep's head throughout the day. Uh, we we made our few bites count. That's right. I'd say we caught ten or twelve fish throughout the day, but you know yeah. we we worked hard for them. We did we, we did work in. hard, but now we get to. Uh, uh, experience the fruits of our labor yeah now you got to yes. clean them up and just uh get them grilled seasoned up real nice but fresh fish like this man you can't beat so i just like to keep it nice and simple yep right over the fire some fresh vegetables a lot of lemon and herbs and uh we'll see what happens it's gonna be great man All i'm right. really looking forward to trying out this new brio cooker and yeah man seeing what it can do with this fresh catch right on right on the skillet well you uh, got you got the setup man the thing can go anywhere and uh, there's yeah. no better place than right in this backyard overlooking the marsh of south carolina man i'm excited it about it more importantly hungry i'm starving too man you ready to get been, to work i'm ready to get to it buddy <laughs> i'm starving all right so we got three species of fish we got two different preparations the speckled trout and the redfish we're going to just gut them scale them stuff them with lemon and herbs and then we take some wire and wrap them and then hang them outside the fire so you're gonna have a slow roasted herb and lemon stuff speckled trout and redfish and then with the sheep's head we're very simply we're gonna call this uh, on the half shell which is where you fillet this um, the sheep's head and leave the scale on then cook them in the scales and we're just gonna base that with some butter and garlic and lemon just dripping over the fire some asparagus and potatoes how can you go wrong fresh fish live fire charleston south carolina right on the water and you can't get any better than that bring it down It. All right, really simple guys. Got thyme, rosemary, lemons, some green onions. And really what we want to do here 
is just season the inside cavity and you don't can't get any fresher than what we're doing right now and these are as far as i'm concerned the big the big top dogs redfish and speckled oh, yeah. trout of inland saltwater fish and yeah. especially here in the carolinas or in louisiana where i'm from you know these are these are the fish that kind of make or break your day just want to stuff those cavities with herbs stuff them right in there not really worrying about too much about the presentation of it or how evenly it's all dispersed you really just want to get inside that cavity i take a couple green onions i'm not going to really prep that at all just bend them in half stuff them right in it's going to add moisture to that cavity and in the inside of this fish it's going to be aromatic the reason why is that because it's going to roast on roast around that fire for a good hour just cook slow cooking really slow so we want to keep moisture in there while through that whole cooking process. And you can see that basically closes, right? Well, how are we gonna close it? We have just some wire here. And then the sheep's head on the half shell, they're ready. Yeah, I think that's one of those things we just take the skillet yep. and melt some butter and do the garlic and stuff and oh, that. Oh, and the herbs. And, and the, the herbs. herbs. Like, why even chop the garlic when you just can crush it with your hands? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I like it. Parsley. Fire. All right. And we're just going to take the outside edge of the fire, the thicker part of your fillet towards the fire. I'm just going to kind of make a circumference around. Trying to get a little some some heat maintenance here. There we go. There we go. Just kind of bring it closer down to the fire. Man, fellas, what an awesome day good in the time. water. Good yeah, times. Good times. had time. such a great time with you as usual, man. Yeah. You know, it's our third year on the water together in a row, and it's always a great time. Always look forward to having you. Looking forward to having you many more times. Yeah. And, uh, we started out in the morning with a quite a chilly morning. Uh, a mm -hmm. lot of foul weather gear on. We peeled a few layers as the day went on, but not many. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, that wind yeah. kept it cold. Well, I mean, one of my favorite parts of fishing yes. is catching fish, being on the water with y'all. But then just second, close second, is being around that fire cooking fish. We had the we had the ember roasted uh, speckled trout and the redfish. We had the uh, sheep's head on the half shell, some grilled oysters, all with that grilled garlic butter sauce. If anybody got any questions, hit me up, Chef Jean underscore Paul on my Instagram account. I answer them all, DM me, comment on uh, any of those photos. But man, I'm pumped to see this yes. video on y'all YouTube channel. Yes, we got a great video coming out uh, on our channel, Life on the Water. You guys be sure to subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of great content coming out, a lot of great videos, uh, working with great people like Chef Jean Paul here, and look forward to putting out some great videos for you guys. So. It was a great day on the water, and uh, let's go out and have a good time this evening. Out from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Can't wait to do it again. 